Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Kiss, Blood and Stardust, issue number two. All right, I almost feel like these should be numbered, because uh, Kiss comic books are notorious for not going on too long. Also, I feel like this should have been um, part of issue one. I almost feel like issue one was actually this issue plus the previous, and then somebody else came along and said, nah, let's cut these in half. And it's like, wow, because it literally takes up from exactly where the last one left off. All right, let's get into who actually made this comic book. Kiss, Blood and Stardust, writer Brian Hill, artist Rodney Buscemi, colors, uh, Adriano Augusto, letters, Troy Pateri. Whole bunch of people working on the art uh, for the cover. Uh, sorry, not getting into all those people. So... Uh, again, leaves off exactly where it takes up where the, the last comic book left off. It starts off with um, Gene Simmons, whose face never changes in this entire comic book. Kiss used to, there used to be the rumor that they wore masks. If you ever went to a concert, you knew they weren't, they weren't ever masks. There was always the kabuki makeup. But uh, on the back of the one of the record albums, yes, record albums, vinyl, check it out, kitties, <laughs> made the record sound better in my opinion. But I'm old. What do I know? Um, <laughs> they had this. Um, yeah, they used to have the comic books on the back of the um, the single page comic books, whatever, on the back of the albums. And there was the one where they they were caught and they took off the masks and underneath the mask were the makeup. <laughs> so you know there was that. Anyway, um, I think that was Creatures of the Night. Again, what do I know? So Gene Simmons just right away starts off with, "Yeah, we're not taking this deal until we know what you are." It's like, oh, come on, but I just explained that in the previous issue, which tells me that this should have been part of issue one. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Lilith is just like, all right, fine, you want my origin story? Here's my origin story. And it's a cool origin story. Um, they don't get into the part. I explained the, the origin of Lilith according to mythology, including Talmudic traditions in the previous issue. Um, not a whole lot has changed in here. There does seem to be a, an Adronimus um, Lucifer Morningstar, which is interesting. Um, I'm, I'm just going to... No, I don't think I'm... I don't know if YouTube is going to bite me for uh, putting that up there. So, whatever. I, I'd really hate to have to redo this uh, this video just because of that. Anyway, an Andromedus Lucifer, Lucifer Morningstar. I can understand that because they're angels. They shouldn't be he's and she's. They don't copulate to mate. So, yeah, I'm good with it. Um, but anyway, Lucifer, uh, Lucifer, uh, Lilith does give her story and it's cool. And dude, the art in this does get really amazing sometimes. Again, I did complain about the facial features not changing for Gene Simmons, but just for Gene Simmons, everybody else does have different facial features. And you know, you see art like this and it's like, damn, this is stuff that belongs up on my wall, you know? Um, man. So anyway, we, we also get a further backstory the the full backstory for um what the heck is this this moron's name uh moonson moonson yeah so um that's actually good like we we could really use his backstory so we finally got that in here but then we get something else that i didn't expect that i actually really like because you know oftentimes kiss has to be the 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 focus of everything the members of kiss specifically um, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, the only, you know, the only two permanent members, the lifetime members of KISS. Everybody else is just a uh, rotational aspect to look it up, to understand. But, um, you know, they, 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 they take a lot of creative control over all of their merch. And yes, that includes comic books. Um, they're, they're very notorious for that. But anyway, um, there's this girl who shows up and she's got a really cool power that could potentially take down this moon sun guy. And her power is natural creativity. Yeah. She doesn't need mystical powers to make this really, these really awesome songs and whatnot. She just racing down, puts her pocket and all that stuff. And that could potentially destroy moon sun. I like that. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. So it's interesting to see that another character in here might have something. And it's probably, realistically, it's probably just somebody else for Gene Simmons to sleep with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To, to show his super long tongue and all that stuff. Whatever, man. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But um, we do get this scene, which is awesome. And this should be a poster. This should have been a poster in every young kid's room, as far as I'm concerned. Um, loved the, always loved the comic book versions of the Star Child, the Space Ace, the, it's always the Space Man, but okay, the Space Ace, the Cat Man, and the Demon, of course. 
this is fun. This is fun. And I almost feel like next issue is going to be the real issue two in some regards, because I think that's where they're really going to continue with the story. Um, uh, this, this just felt like the perfect natural progression. And when I say perfect, I mean too perfect. This, I really do feel like this should have been part of issue number one. Um, uh, I used to do that when I first started off on YouTube. I used to make a video that I was just like, wow, this video turned out really long. I could chop it up into a whole bunch of different videos and just put it out there. And, you know, it'll look like, a, you know, I made a whole bunch of different videos and I could, you know, m make it look like I got more content. Then I realized that, no, I can just make a whole lot of content. <laughs> it's all individual, feel individual. Um, yeah, go check out my original Incredible Hulk stories for that. Actually, you're probably better off not. The point is, um, I did like this comic book. I feel like we're going to like issue three a lot more. Just that's that's the feeling I get when I read this. But if you're going to buy the comic book or, you, you know, you're going to subscribe to the comic book, you kind of need issue two. It's the it's the completion of issue one. <laughs> All right. As weird as it sounds, guys, Professor Bill Comic Book University, class dismissed.